in order to see how ICTs can help, we have to look at the problems that the rural and remote areas face. These are areas where the people are poor. These are areas where people have no access to good transport systems or energy systems. There is no energy infrastructure generally. And these are areas where people survive through small projects and agriculture. And these are also areas where education is not easily accessible and where they don't have access to good health care systems. Again, another problem that they face is that they do not have the means or the information uh, to trade in their small project pro produce. So when we look at that, ICTs help in a number of ways. First of all, there is assistance in the form of gadgets or technologies that help them do their tasks or make the tasks easier. And then ICTs also help in bringing in information to these people. And the third way in which ICTs help is to help governments plan for facilities in the rural and remote areas. So when you look at that, giving a few examples, if you take, for example, agriculture, you find that once you have ICTs in the place, in the form of maybe telecenters and community information centers, you find that people can now access information on how to grow their crops, information on where to trade, information on where to find inputs. And when it comes to education, you find that most countries have been trying to digitalize their schools and to also bring education through ICTs to the villages. In that regard, what it means is that there is no need for huge infrastructural development in forms of schools where people have to go into formal schools. It means even those that missed classes or did not um, go to formal school can now learn through ICTs. We have also seen developments in telemedicine where people can now easily access information on health and then they also get treated even without visiting the big hospitals. We also find that with regards to markets, they now easily find where to get inputs like fertilizers and they also find places to sell their goods or to access whatever products they need. So when you look at all those uh, things, you find that it makes life easier in the rural areas uh, with the use of ICTs. One big area is really the area of clean water and sanitation you find that most diseases that affect developing countries are from waterborne diseases. And now because government can plan and, and see where the water resources are needed and what needs to be done using ICTs like GIS, they are then able to plan uh, for development of proper water sanita and, and sanitation. So these are the main areas where people can, can get help from ICTs. And once those basics um, are set right, it sets the foundation for further development. And if you look at all these areas that I've talked about, these are the very areas that have been targeted by the sustainable development goals. If you look at the goal on eradication of hunger, you look at the goal on elimination of poverty, and you look at the goal even on the gender divide, because the ICTs do not target just one gender, they target all gender, which means everyone has got equal access to information and knowledge. So ICTs definitely do play a very critical role in making sure that we achieve the sustainable development goals.